everyone, Bruce from Schoolbusters, and today I've got a cracking tune for Le Mans 700. It laps around the same time as the Audi S1 in the previous update, before this one. Uh, it's become uncontrollable, that car. They've changed the physics, it's ruined the car, so forget the Audi. This is the car to use. It's the Aston Martin DP100. It will be every other car by miles. It'll do a 347 lap, no problem. I did that, just jumped jump straight in it after not playing Le Mans for ages. 347, like that. So, let's get into the tune. So, this is a dead simple tune. So it's racing hard tyres. Can't use sports on this one, but you don't need to. Can't do an out with suspension. Can't do anything with the differential. None of this is customizable. You can't get any tuning parts for it. But that's why this car understeers when you accelerate. So just bear that in mind. Next up, got the downforce, which is preset. Got a fully customizable ECU, which is set at 97. Forget the ballast. For some reason, I had it set at minus 38. And then power restrictor at 100. And that's all you need to know. It's just dead, dead simple. And it's a brilliant car to drive. Just don't forget to set it to manual. Otherwise, it will not be as fast. So, I'm just going to walk you through the quickest lap here. Second lap. And first corner we're going to come up to is the Dunlop curve. Nice and easy. Just as you come up to the corner, pull off the accelerator, let the car roll around the corner. Dead simple. On the next corner, you're going to want a break between the two total signs. The first two total signs. Heavy on the brakes get it down to about 70 and then only powering out once you come out the chicane under the Dunlop bridge keep right here I don't keep right and the, the car drifts off to the left and it's hard to keep on line and then you're going to want to go around this corner in third remember always change it at six and a half thousand revs at Terta Rouge you've got a break after you pass under the bridge let the car flow around at 100 mile an hour using all the kerb and then you're going to take it all the way down the straight you're going to want to brake at the 200 metre mark and the first chicane, braking heavy, and then just let the car roll round again so you're not getting that understeer. Power out as soon as you come out the first chicane. Same again down to the second chicane, it's going to be 150 metre mark. Again, letting it roll around the corner to get the maximum rotation out of the car. Accelerate out the chicane, and then you're going to want to start braking at the end of the straight just before you start pulling across to the curb, hitting the brakes all the way down, let the car roll around the corner, got another nice long straight, take it all the way down, braking at a 200 metre mark, down to fourth, no, no, kept in fifth, and then get around the corner, brake again, so you're coming around this corner nice and slow, same again, Two, first Gantt sign, you've got to be hitting the brakes, nice and slow, and then, yet again, another straight. Now remember, you need to be changing gear at 6,500 revs. So we're coming up to the Porsche curves. This is where you can really use the grip of this car. So you're going to learn it coast, accelerate, coast and accelerate. So keep over to the left. Coming down into fourth, third. You should hug the curve on that corner, but I didn't. But this is where it's really strong. Just keep powering out. When you're coming into the corner, let go of the accelerator so you get the rotation. Keep right on this corner. Stay with the RMC signs and then bring it left. And then you're on the home shape. Just coming up to the Ford uh, chicanes and then we're done. So yeah, I hope it's been helpful for you. Uh, I absolutely love this car. I think it's a great money making car. Stable, it's easy, it's fast. What more can you ask for? Right, thanks for tuning in folks, and I will see you all next time. Adios.